Yeah. Reporting live from the Humber Bay Bridge. It's live from last week, episode 46. Let's, Let's go! Welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So after doing my fourth night shift in five days, I'm here at a local Tim Hortons in Mississauga and I have no time to make breakfast this morning because I got to meet up with the fiance, edit some video while I spend some time with her after my night shift, then be her Uber carpool to her night shift later on tonight. So come along with me as we get this week started. Actually, after getting a decent post-night shift nap in earlier today, I just wanted to recap what I did yesterday during All Souls Day, where I went to the cemetery to pay some respects to some of my relatives that have passed on before us. Even though it's chilly, the sun has decided to come out. It's beautiful. First, we're here to visit my Lolo for All Souls Day. Next, here is my Tito Melvin. Happy All Souls Day. Keep good watch over Marvin. We'll pray for you and keep you in our thoughts. Till next time, Tito Melvin. And this one is an All Souls Day visit to Tito Noel and Tita Malin. Hey guys, we miss you, we love you. Think about you every day. Keep watching over Kyrie and Lena. Duds, Louis, and the whole family. Till next time, Tito Noel. Till next time, Tita Malin. Hey, Lola. Happy All Souls Day. Got some presents for you. Gonna try to light this candle, even though it's pretty windy outside. But let's go see what we can do. It's both windy and chilly today, Lola. Yeah, we got the candle lit for Lola. Yeah, Lola's candle lit up on this nice windy autumn day. Okay, see you later, Lola. Also, while driving back home, I had a little bit of a problem with my gas tank. Two kilometers. Come on, gas station, where are you? I have two kilometers to find a gas station. Luckily, boom, across the street, I am saved. 179, I'm only gonna fill up for 10 bucks because I can't afford this gas no more, man. Man, gonna look for a cheaper gas station because almost 180 a liter, it's way too much, man. So I went to my usual gas station and although you can't see it, the premium gas here is only 159. That's a difference of 20 cents a liter, meaning I saved on this fill up about eight bucks. Damn. And before I go in for work, I just have a birthday greeting to one of my titas, Auntie Otai. Happy birthday, Tito Ots. I'm always enjoying our times when we have family gatherings together. From having flip Olympics at your cottage to the birthdays and Christmas parties where you're always cheersing to us, reminding us to always live our life to the fullest and always telling me, don't worry, Jay. Anyways, Tito Oats, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Gabby for me, and I hope you had a great birthday this year. So, after a pretty decent night shift, where I went on an adventure and got this baby, and I got out of work before 7.30 in the morning, the fiance and I are off to my parents' place to visit my family, mainly because my dad has some issues with his computer that he wants us to fix. So let's go. See the new bathroom. Oh wow. Nice. I just put something there in the bottom because it will plug up the thing. Yeah. Very nice. So after spending time with the parents. Trick or tree. Trick or tree. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. 
Then taking a nap post night shift, the fiance and I are now here at the Guild Inn to do a food tasting for an event that we're doing later this month. All right, quick update. After coming here, we find out that all the doors are locked, even though we have a three o'clock appointment today. So I guess we'll just wait out here in the cold until somebody answers the voicemails that we've been leaving here at the Guild and hope that uh, somebody comes and rescues us from this chilly weather. All right, guys, after 10 minutes of waiting, we finally made it in. Somebody finally opened the door for us. All right, made it in. Finally trying to warm up. Yay, this is the indoor venue. Wow. And here's the menu. Woo. So after a delicious dinner put on by the guild and walking the park grounds checking out the autumn foliage and the columns there, I'm finally back at my home in Scarborough for the first time in over 48 hours. But before I go to bed tonight, because I have a busy day set up for me tomorrow, I just have a birthday greeting for one of my childhood friends, Chris. Happy birthday, Chris. I'm remembering when we were younger playing house league soccer together and seeing you with your quickness, agility and skills out on the pitch as well as being a pretty amazing teammate. Anyways, Chris, hope you and your family are doing well at this time, staying safe and healthy, and I hope that you had a great birthday this year. So get this guys, last night, yet again, guess who got less than six hours of sleep? But I think it's because today is a day that holds special to my heart. And looking at the clocks around the room this morning, I realized today is 11.04 day, AKA NOV4 day a special day that I circle on my calendar every single year, where, just like any other day, I work on live from last week videos. Go to the party store and buy some classy party hats, and go to No Frills to buy some festive cupcakes. Which, if you guys don't know, I'll be bringing in to work later on this evening, cause this guy has a night shift tonight. So, before I go into work later on this evening, I just have a birthday greeting for a special Jay Walker POV viewer out there. And this birthday greeting goes out to Jay! Happy birthday, Jay! Man, there's just so many memories between me and you, and it seems like I've known you all my life. Plus, that little YouTube channel that you're running, you're doing great with that, so I hope you keep that up for the future. Anyways, Jay, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to the family for me, including Tito Eddie, Tita Nancy, and Nika, and I'm hoping that you have the most amazingest, blessed birthday this year. So before my night shift last night, I actually had a surprise delivery for my birthday. I got a call from this edible arrangements place saying that they had a delivery for me to pick up outside my condo. And lo and behold, I got these helium balloons, a nice fruit and chocolate edible arrangement, as well as a box of chocolate covered fruit. And I just wanted to say thanks again Tita Chi and family for giving me that surprise gift for my birthday. And on that note, I just want to thank all my friends and family members who took time out of their busy lives to greet me happy birthday yesterday. And I forgot to mention that last night during my night shift, I had another surprise birthday celebration at work. Make a wish. Okay, remove your mask, man. How can you go? <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> 
Woo! Yay! 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 <laughs> and on to today, after I had a post night shift nap that lasted about this long, I opened a couple of new things that I got in the mail, including my newly renewed driver's license and the gift I was waiting for to signify the start of the winter snowboarding season. And later, while driving downtown to check out the Fox and the Fiddle for a future event venue, I just may have saw a posting on Facebook Marketplace that I might have been interested in. So, here's a question for you guys. Do you think I actually went through with that Facebook Marketplace meetup? Anyways, afterwards, the fiancé and I went to Ikea to do a quick Ikea run, buying something as a couple's activity for something to do tonight. And after an hour of supervising the fiancé putting together this new piece of furniture, unfortunately, we found out the hard way that it couldn't fit the condo's unit foyer. Anyways, as you guys can tell, I'm off to bed now. Time to catch up on some sleep, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. So, if you guys want to know whether or not I actually got that Squid Game costume I was talking to you guys about yesterday, well, here's the answer. While waiting for my cousin Faye and her husband Justin to come visit us today, I decided to start watching the Squid Game series on Netflix. And in order to get in the mood to watch it, I decided to do a little bit of cosplay earlier this morning. And man, this show is addictive. With all its plot twists and exciting scenes, I mean, I just couldn't look away from the TV. And after wearing the costume for over an hour waiting to surprise them at my door, we were actually able to play a Squid Game when they arrived. <laughs> Again, one more, one more. It was also cool because they actually surprised me and brought a present for me for my birthday. Shoulders? Let's go! Oh! Let's go! Look at this! What is this? A bikini! A bikini! <laughs> a bikini! Banana hammock! Banana hammock! <laughs> You're wearing it the wrong way. It goes like this. You put it on this side and then it goes Each under. under. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> and then the back hook yeah. hooks onto your tail. Woohoohoo! Woo! Are you from the sponsors? Yeah! <laughs> so I'm looking forward to wearing that in future Live From Last Week episodes. And after doing my hair, Faye and I went to a local Papa John's and we got pizza for everybody. There you go, pizza delivery! Oh, thank you! That's a quality Uber Eats. So I hope you enjoyed your first Uber delivery experience with me, Faye. And hopefully, we'll do more in the future. But anyways, it's Saturday night and one of my buddies, Tyler, is having a birthday party. So come with me guys and let's go check it out.
Guys, I don't know about you, but I just can't stop thinking about all the fun that I had last night. As well as all the happiness, love, and joy in the room. From Tyler, Kiefer, and Christine's birthday celebrations. To the surprise engagement of my two former co-workers, Joe and Tyler. And from the bottom of my heart, I just want to let you two know that I'm so happy for you guys. And especially with spending all day today editing last night's videos. It just conjured up in me all those emotions and feelings again that I had from last night. But moving on, on to today when the fiance's family came and visited us in Scarborough, we were able to take them to a restaurant that we have always wanted to go to. And if you guys have heard of this place, the Greek Grill, where every time that you pass by the restaurant, you can smell the delicious Greek food cooking off of the grill. But anyways, for lunch today, we got some takeout. And let me tell you, as good as this dish of lamb chops looks, it tastes 10 times better. So yeah, I'm definitely giving a thumbs up to the Greek Grill. And if you guys ever get the chance of getting some food from there, I definitely recommend the lamb chops and their lemon roasted potatoes. But anyways, before I hit the sack for the night, I just have a birthday greeting for one of my childhood friends, Carlo. Happy birthday, John Carlo. I'm remembering all the soccer teams that we would be teammates on, playing house league back in Curtis, as well as playing alongside you on our high school teams where you would score sick outswinging goals with the outside of your right foot. Anyways, Carlo, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to your family for me, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. Guys, daylight savings times has really affected my sleep patterns. With me only sleeping this much on Saturday night, and this much on Sunday night. So this morning, after waking up at 5 a.m., I drove the fiancé to her early morning day shift, then I decided to surprise one of my buddies and pick him up to take him to work this morning. But the only thing is, he was running a little bit late. So I had to chill in his driveway waiting for him and decided to edit some live from last week footage while he got ready. I was also able to take a quick video with this dog going for an early morning dog walk. <laughs> but unfortunately, that dog was a little bit vicious and I ended up cutting myself while petting it. But anyways, once my buddy was finally ready, I was able to surprise Mini Carpool him to work, catching up with him and his stories in the car, and getting him to his place of work on time. Then, after taking a quick nap back at home, I was able to enjoy this beautiful 17 degree weather here in November, and take the fiancé's sister, Jersey, out to the Humber River for a nice autumn kayak. But unfortunately, you guys will have to wait until next week's episode to check out the music video for that segment. But before we wrap it up for this week, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my high school friends, Allison. Happy birthday, Allie! I'm remembering our high school dances and the moves that you'd put down on the dance floor. As well as the times that I ran into you when you were working at National Sports Up at Young and Shepherd, as well as Running Room near Summer Hill Station. Anyways, Allie, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday this year. And secondly, for my next birthday shout out, we have a birthday greeting for one of my childhood family friends, Jade. Happy birthday, Jade. I'm remembering back in the day when your family and my family would attend masses together, as well as seeing your talents out on the pitch when you were a standout soccer player when we were younger. Anyways, Jade, hope you and the family are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you're an amazing birthday this year. And my next birthday greeting for today goes out to one of my university friends, Amanda! Happy birthday, Amanda! I'm remembering all the good times back at Ryerson when you and Pav were at the back of the room cracking up the whole class, as well as going to holiday work parties with you back when we were starting out our careers. Anyways, Amanda, hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Say hi to Pav for me, and I hope that you had a great birthday this year. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to V! Happy birthday, V! With you always being the life of the party, I thoroughly enjoy our times together when we're at gatherings with our friends. As well as the many poses that you make in front of the camera, where you pretend to be a K-drama star on a movie poster. Anyways V, I'm missing our times together. Hope you're doing well, stay safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had an amazing birthday this year. So yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, 
Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.